Hey friends, it's Lauren with Dark Horse. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing the Smart Grooming Main Pulling System. So if you're interested in grooming tips and tricks or horse and barn hacks, please like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. I appreciate it. This is the Smart Grooming Main Tidying System. The system is described as being a humane way to tidy and trim the mane since you aren't actually pulling out the hairs. The rake is for quickly and painlessly thinning the mane, and it's sold in three different sizes, coarse, medium, and fine, so it works for all types of hair. Meanwhile, this fold-up knife is for leveling the mane, and it ideally should leave a more natural finish than finishing with scissors. So both of these I purchased from the company Smart Grooming, which is a very popular brand among our friends in the UK. They do ship to the United States and have a wide variety of products. I ordered a bunch of goodies and have been pleasantly impressed with everything I've ordered so far. Now, let's try the system. I'm going to start this process with a clean and detangled mane. Next, I'm taking the mane and I'm combing it over to the opposite side of the neck. So now all the hairs lay on the side of the neck where it does not fall naturally, aka this mane falls to the left, so now it's over on the right. Here, I will take my rake. Now, <laughs> I'll admit, this is where I went wrong. This thinning rake really quickly thins the manes out, so less is definitely more. If the mane is thick and unruly, I would highly recommend you spend several sessions, several days apart to thin it all out. If you take too much, spoiler alert, like I did, then you're gonna be left with a little bit of spiky regrowth. Now I have used the rake since then and I didn't do multiple passes like I am here and the regrowth looked totally natural. So don't make the same mistake I did. Now that we're thin, we get to flip everything back onto the correct side of the neck. Here is where I boarded the struggle bus. The leveling knife is sharp, but it's not sharp enough to accidentally cut you, the horse, or accidentally cut any hair off that you aren't intentionally trying to level. I will say it did take me a couple tries to practice back combing with the knife and then cutting the hair. But after two or three minutes, I was flying through the process. And there you have it. When I was done, I cleaned the tools with a damp rag and then I lightly oiled them so they're ready for their next use. As you can see from the final product, I definitely prefer a longer, thinner mane for braiding, but these tools can really shape a mane however you prefer. I have used the tool since, and I can confirm that this is a much faster process than traditional pulling. And although I'm still barely partial to traditional pulling, because old habits die hard, this is the perfect alternative for my sensitive horses that may show any kinds of discomfort with the old fashioned way of pulling manes. So I could actually see this being my only way of pulling going forward. I think I just have to get used to it a little more. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. See you next time.